Tonight we're going to eat some of the best seafood on the islands. Night Market. Now this is Pearl Island. It is famous for its seafood. I've been doing some research because there's a lot of food here. But tonight we're going to eat five dishes that this island is famous for. Now this is May, which means we are in low season. That said, the night market is still pretty busy and that's because everyone comes here. Phuc is a tourist town and so a lot of Vietnamese, Malaysian, Indian, lots of Asians come here. It can get really, really loud. Everyone is trying to get your attention and there was so much food here. So we are looking for the seafood restaurant area. Some of the food you just eat standing up, but then some of the food is actually in restaurants where you can sit down. And we have actually walked through this market a couple of times uh, before tonight, just because it's in the downtown area. And so it's on our walk home back to our hotel, but uh, it's a little bit of a maze. Like we're trying to find that place again and I don't see it. We're just going to keep walking. Alright, so we decided to stop at a restaurant and that is because it is great trying little things here and there, but we actually want some real food. We want some seafood, we want some plates. So we've ordered four different things here. We're getting the herring salad, which sounds peculiar, but it's supposed to be very good. We've got some lemongrass snails coming. We also have some fried squid in fish sauce. Now, as I said, fish sauce here is famous. There are two areas in Vietnam which are known for fish sauce. This is one of them. And finally, I got two sea urchins. One for him, one for me. I love sea urchin, but I've never had it in Vietnam. I am so excited because we started with the sea urchin. Now this is very typical of this region. They serve it a number of different ways. This is my favorite way though because they've actually kept it in the casing. Sea urchin is quite a dangerous uh, seafood to catch because it has all of these sharp spines. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll actually scoop it out and eat it with uh, a stir fry or something like that. But it looks like in this case they've given us these small spoons and we're going to be able to just scoop it and eat it. I see some peanuts in here and then also some fresh herbs. Mmm. You've got some spring onion in there, a little bit of peanut, a little bit of saltiness. It's almost just like a warm, buttery mussel like a very soft, very tender muscle. This was the appetizer. It's only 30,000 for one. So 60,000 for two, that's under for US dollars. Mm. Want all my tips, including what didn't make it into videos? Check out my Vietnam guide for what to see, eat, and do, plus crucial tips for renting a motorbike in Vietnam. for these lemongrass snails. Now, a lot of people think snails are gross, but the reality is we eat a lot of different kinds of seafood. I mean, this is certainly not a snail that would be coming out of the ground. We eat mussels and oysters and scallops and lobster. They're all in shells too. This is just the same kind of shell as something we'd see coming out of the ground. Take a look at that. If you like mussels, you will like this. It's just a little bit bigger. Mm. Mm-hmm. Full of that lemongrass flavor. Very light and bright. Same kind of texture as a mussel or if you got a cooked clam. Very, very similar, but it's a snail and it's so good. We got a lot of food. Those snails were 90, 90,000. So this is a squid, as I said, in a fish sauce. Got some onions, some red pepper, some lettuce. Earlier 
this week I had some fish sauce paste on the dish and it was too fishy, too salty. It was actually kind of gross. <laughs> but this, just very tender. It's like a barbecued squid. Got some herring salad here. This is very typical from this area. And I learned, we mix it with this, which I don't know if it's coconut. I think it's shredded coconut. And then they told me to go over here. This is the salad part. You get your greens. And then you put it all in a rice paper wrap. You can dip it in here. Or you can also dip it in here, which I think is the local fish sauce. Well, this, this also looks like it might be the local fish sauce because I can see some chilies in it. I just want to try the herring to see what it's like. Small fish. Hmm. Wow. It doesn't taste like fish. If you think that herring is really fishy, this is not it. So, lettuce, herring, onion, got some crispy shallots, fresh herbs, some of this coconuts, and then I'll put some, it's like a sushi. And then I'm gonna roll it. Oh, look at this. So then it becomes like this. It's like a thin roll. I gave you a terrible roll. And then I'm gonna dip it in this peanut sauce. Good, not fishy, super fresh, sweet, spicy. I think there's some fish sauce in there with that peanut. Mm. Herring salad was the first dish that I researched when I decided we were gonna come to Phu Quoc. But I didn't realize it was going to be like this. I didn't realize that fish salad meant actually putting everything together. This would be an amazing light lunch. Coconut is fantastic. This dipping sauce, oh, so good. We ate so much seafood, and yet I feel pretty good. But I'm gonna end the video here. This has been a fantastic time walking around, eating in the Phu Quoc Night Market. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I inspired you maybe to eat some things that you hadn't thought you wanted to eat before. And if you come to Vietnam, consider coming to Phu Quoc. What we did when we came in, was we bought a flight to Ho Chi Minh and then didn't go into the city. We actually had a flight two hours later to come here and we've loved it. We're leaving in two days and we're kind of sad because we've been here for a week and it's been so fantastic. If you're interested in learning more about Phu Quoc, more about our adventures in Vietnam, I'm putting together a guide. And so I will have the link in the description below and you can sign up. When it is ready, I'll send you an email. Until next video, in Saigon, I hope you have a great night. I'm gonna keep eating this herring salad. Mm. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.